everybody, Aquabur60 for the Redstone Motorboat, and this is our very first anything with Clash of Clans on my YouTube channel. Now, I've been hanging out here in Elias. They have a lot of cool things. Um, you know, shout out to Ned Meat. He has another channel. I'll put it in the description. Um, but first, we are going to be doing some of the best attacks in this specific war. First one is by Emil Sweet 9 I'm going to guess it's a girl. That's just me. But... Um, they have a nice composition here, a go valk with a queen walk. Now, the queen walk is very good for this attack. It'll take out a lot of point defense, and it's going to be completely and utterly valuable for this attack. I mean, necessary. Um, so, she starts by... I'm just going to continue using she. You would put places her max queen down to take out some of these point defense, and the healers are keeping her right on the edge there. She's slowly losing health, but she, he sent out... A, um, they sent out... I'm just going to say they, that's better. They sent out their golem and wizards so to help take out that queen there. So, the queen is staying alive now that she has taken down some of those point defense, and... Her golems, one has died, but the other one stands strong, just clearing out some room so that the Valks don't go everywhere, which is very strong. Now, it's it could be very close and very, very narrow, like the, it, those guys come out and you might run out of time, but luckily that is not the case for this attack. So the golems go to the side. At first it looked like it was a... Um, that Inferno Tower looked like it was going to be a terrible thing because it may have been a single thing and it would have just wrecked that golem, but it wasn't and it started hurting those Valkyrie, Valkyries, but luckily that's okay. So the guys over here, those um, that balloon just starts doing massive damage. Luckily the poison was strong enough to take it out in time, so she had a few Valks to take out the skeletons and um, get another another Tesla on her way down. So the king is over there taking out some other defense and that golem's gone. But the nice thing, the important thing, like I said, was that queen. That queen is just over there taking out the um, defense and the other buildings. So she as like she is the reason this attack was won. She just once she, she has three healers left because one got taken out by that mine. But that is enough to last through some wizard towers. And that is exactly what needed to be done. So she just kind of finishes this off with her amazing archer queen. Takes out the inferno tower. That that mine does nothing. Takes out the wizard tower. That barracks. And that is a victory. A beautiful attack by um, Emil. Okay, so this next attack is by LT Frank Durbin. And... <laughs> Funny story is, this is actually, um, uh, this recording right here is actually after I'd finished the video. So, we were going, I was going to post this, and there were, he asked if I could add this attack to the video. And I was a little reluctant at first because I had pretty much posted the video at this point, but they finally convinced me to do it, so I'm re-recording this. Anyway, this is a nice attack by L.T. Franklin, um, L.T. Franklin, der Frank Durbin, and he has a Go Valk with a P.E.K.K.A. So, nice, nice max troops, because he's a town all nine. Um, sends his wizards over there to clear away for the Valks to get in there, lures the um, troops out with that Golem, and gets his Valks to go for that Archer Tower, and his P.E.K.K.A. sends, I, I love the new P.E.K.K.A., it's awesome, cool, um, rage thing that it walks back and it has that sh uh, particle effect is I think the word I'm looking for. Anyway, that balloon caused a bit of damage but not that much that it was not they, the golems didn't completely go down. I think it took down one but that was it. So these bullers are going to be pretty important for this attack. They actually um, take out a lot of good buildings <laughs> and four hogs just they just went around this base and just started annihilating defense. So, four hogs did a lot of damage for this base. Next, you have this golem over here just bouncing his um, bowling balls around and taking out that. The only thing is that you can't, they don't try to target wall or try to hit their um, next target with their bowling ball, which would be awesome if they angled themselves for that. That would be really sweet, but they don't, so they took out some damage there, which is nice, and the bullets just basically finish it off here. Yep. Good attack by Durbin. And 
Next, we are going to the attack by Crouching T. Um, town on 9 v Town on 9. That's every attack is going to be attacking the mirror. But this is an interesting attack. It's an air, and it has um, some hogs. It, I guessing to take out an air defense. But the seven dragons. I, I really was wondering what they were, what he was going to do with this attack. But he takes out an air defense over here with his earthquake lightning spell, and the balloons are going in there, took out a point uh, point defense, which is always nice if you can take out any without any damage. So it lures the air troops, the specifically the air ones are what you want to get rid of, so that they will come out and now the only problem with these air troops is gone. It's, a, it's annihilated with the um, dragons. So Rage was a little out, but luckily the dragons got inside. So he sends his hogs over there, and they are going to take out that air defense, which is very nice. And some wizards over there, hopefully they are going to help with help the king take out the wizard tower, and maybe take out some of the stuff inside. So he sends a golem over there to help deal with that last air defense by um, being a wall of meat. So he has one dragon taking out the town hall. Now these dragons are just going to get rid of that balloon. It's, it's in the way. And this looks very promising right here. So he has no air defense left. All he has to worry about is traps. So he has some wizards. And that golem is going to help soak up the damage. Um, where did it go? Okay, there it is. I couldn't see it behind all the smoke. It's going to take up some damage from all the ground air def ground things. So the wizards will be able to take out a lot of these uh, other defense. Queen still has her power, so she can go around there and take out a lot of these other things. So I'm, I've speed, sped this up so we can get through this. Now, the Queen is almost always a valuable asset in all attacks. She's one of the most important things you can get in attacks. So he lost um, four dragons, two are critical health, and he took out all of the point of, well, now he took he, they took out um, five, six dragons, so we had one left. And that was a beautiful attack, and it worked perfectly. Next attack is by Super Clan. A little high, a lot higher than this guy. Does a nice Go Valk, and nice Earthquake there, taking out a large opening. I think he opened up uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think five spaces, five, yeah, five, six spaces, which is a really good Earthquake. So he sends another Golem over there, just to make sure there was no traps in the way. And now that these troops are coming out, he has the Wizard King and Queen to help take out these um, Valkyries and Spaloon. Now he sends his Valkyries in and they're gonna take out these um, wizards and the re they're not gonna die because by that um, big bomb. I think he's gonna heal soon. Uh, they're fine. Either way, he does lose a lot of Valks in the beginning but um, they still all get kind of critically low. But the important thing is he got them to go to the center which was very important. And he had some hogs going through the side, so I guess you could call it Go Ho Valk or whatever. Um, and those hogs take out a lot of point defense while they're distracted with the king and Valkyries, which is very valuable. And I love this new update because it makes hogs way more, um, way more available because those big bombs used to just annihilate them. They, w they would be at critical health right now, but they're not because of the update. Uh, that's one of the best thing I would say came out of this update. It made um, hog riders way better um, for attacking. So he just took out this base. He lost all his Valks, but they were kind of just a distraction for those hogs. And they got the center, that town hall, that the hogs may not have if they weren't there. So a beautiful attack by Super Clan. Next, we are going to be going to the next attack very soon. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, this is attack by Studied. One down. Just he, He's attacking up from here, which is uh, very impressive, in my opinion. It worked out very well. So, those stupid balloon and dragon, oh my gosh, they're annoying. So, he had to go Valk here and has some hogs, which helped with, cl with the cleanup, uh, some of the defense that he couldn't reach with the Valks. But, um, so he brings his attack in here. He's got some openings. He's trying to clear it so the Valks will go in by seeing the hogs there. And he's I'm just not seeing how he would be able to get these um, Valkyries inside. He tries to send them, but they aren't going in. So he's going to 
have to rely on some other troops like his hogs to clear these defense and his queen is going to have to be the one that relied upon to get this um, town hall now this is a very close in my opinion with um, barely just barely took out that queen he has some falcons on the outside it looked very much unpromising it looked like it was going to be a defeat luckily he had that heal which kept his valks going and that helped him get those last few defense <laughs> um, with, with this was like a nail-biting attack when I watched that first oh my goodness watching this thing live jeez but he managed to do it he had all his valks alive because they went to the outside he lost maybe a few of them but he was able to break into these last areas and destroy these last defense I mean these last buildings that were just hanging around all in all a very good attack and very well planned well not planned some things don't go as planned and they work out well now this is actually my attack uh, my second attack I attacked with quadrilavaloon and I first thing I wanted to do was get out specifically the air troops that's why I sent a balloon because sometimes when you get those ground troops it makes it really hard to um, take out all the ground troops as well as these air troops that are actually going to be the problem. So I send an archer out there to lure them out and send my king and queen and the rest of my archers to help with this cleanup here. To take out the wizard very nicely. So Neg and I begin my attack up in the top to take out an air defenses. So I'm not really worried about this level 2 air defense so I'm mainly worried about these uh, level 6 ones. So I send my balloons a little farther out than I wanted to, but it ended up working. So I s just had to um, rely on my um, la lava hounds to um, take up all this damage, which they did. They took up all the traps, and I have balloons on that um, the top, going to get that last air defense. Which and then we have, you know, the um, air defense up there where the lava hounds just taking up damage. It doesn't really do much, so. Yeah, it's it's. I just sent those um, hogs for a little bit of distraction, but um, the balloon just got in there and cleaned that up. That last random air defense. So this one was very reliant on those lava hounds soaking up the damage because my balloons are very slow and they take a while. That skeleton that that was a poison skeleton spell that I may have forgot to mention a little earlier, but I brought those in so I could take out the queen she'd be slow and I'd have the skeletons to um, take her out I thought it was a very good attack it was a little lower than my average but okay the next attack is again by study he did really well this war another go Valk and um, he has some really high Valkyries which is very good for taking out um, town on nines so he brings in his golems straight to the center right to the point awesome now this time I believe his Valkyries are actually going to go in. <laughs> okay, so they take out this annoying balloon. His Valkyries go straight to the center, and they start wrecking this close quarter defense. So they want... Okay, so big bombs are always a little devastating, even with the new update. They're still devastating. So they stay alive for long enough because the Golem is still getting the damage taken. So we have some hogs to clean up these um, a few of these ground defense so his oh, Valkyries won't have to deal with them later and the Valkyries are, took out all those stupid skeletons that would normally be a huge problem for hogs and his queen just goes around the outside with the rest of his Valks and all in all a very good attack. He um, This guy was a little lower it was one down, but he still just annihilated him. Valkyries have become the new OP in Clash of Clans, as proven in these attacks. So, we are going to go on to the next attack, if it'll load. Come on. Yep. Alright. Next attack is by a friend of mine, totally awesome. <laughs> so, he attacked with a Go Valk. His are level 3. Yeah, but actually he didn't attack with a go Valk. he actually had a golem in his clan castle I believe but he used some pekkas which um, I've recently become available to use much more now so he sends his giant on one side and his um, wall breakers on the other so that they don't get affected by the mortar he gets out these air which is exactly what's he, what he wants to pull out of this 
So his peck is to go in there just to help clear out some of this outside, and he has them perfectly go to the middle, which is exactly what he wants them to do. They are going to be the golem in this attack. They are going to soak up this damage because they have a lot of it. So he sends that nice rage. He gets all of his Valkyries and Pekkas. Everything gets um, perf. The spell placement was just beautiful. So he had to rage his king up there, which um, does quite a lot. Takes out quite a lot of um, builders. I mean, quite a lot of buildings. So his um, Pekkas and Valks are doing a very nice job in the middle. He has pretty much all his Valks still alive, and his Pekkas are just soaking up damage at full health pretty much. They've, they have not really dropped that much. So one peck is pretty low, but that's nothing. He has an ar a few Archer Towers that he has to deal with, so that, that won't be a problem though. He's got this. Nice that one Valk took all that big bomb damage, and not all of them which would have been the real problem. So, he does really well, gets cleans up this base really nice. The Archer Queen, again, very valuable, starts just shooting out these um, point defense, uses this Queen's power, and finishes up this attack. Alright, so next we have attack by Oakford, attacking number 20. I'm not even not even going to say that guy's name cuz I can't. <laughs> so, low low go um, low golems cuz I think he's yeah, he's a town hall 8. So he attacks down one. If I made a mistake about him being a town hall 8, I'm sorry Ned Meat. I know I told you I would only put in the mere ones. So, I'm not very fond of his spell placement. He places them all very quick and he used to freeze, which is almost worthless, but it worked out pretty well in this attack. Um it was not worthless in Town Hall 10s, but it's... I, I'm going to have to say he's probably... I, I made a mistake, but it's okay. It was still a good attack. He has some low stuff. It's basically like attacking a guy. He's a, he's a low Town Hall 9 attacking a max Town Hall 8. It was still a fairly good attack. That freeze worked out very nice for him, unlike most people, where that freeze does pretty much nothing. So... He has a lot of these annoying things on the outside, but he had some barbarians out there to uh, clean him up. So now he has the rest of his troops just go out there, pick up, picking off the rest of this stuff. He has a nice, very obedient wizard that just goes out there and takes it out. So all in all, a pretty good attack, even though he was one above. Sorry about that, Ned Meat again. Anyway, Autumn versus this guy. Again, she is a Town Hall 9, but a low one. Well, a fairly low one. And, I still wanted to congratulate her on this attack. Um, she's been doing, um, she hadn't been doing as well, and this attack really, really um, showed that she, um, she was really, she, she could do this. She was very much Elias material. <laughs> so I just wanted to give an attack out for her. So next, the, the so she sends her golem, um, send her hogs which don't taking out thing, start taking things out. They are really low health. I don't know why she didn't heal them, but she didn't um, and lost a lot of those hogs. She did place a heal there. It worked out okay, but um, she doesn't place many heals. I would have probably placed a heal touching that, that air defense, covering that area, but she doesn't and she loses a lot of her hogs and cuts this attack about as close as humanly possible and she ends up having to place two heals on this these two hogs that are being attacked by relentlessly by these skeletons I think if she had placed the heals earlier she would have had a lot more hogs and taken this base out a lot more quickly and effectively but she did very well still uh, and I want to congratulate her good job Autumn Anyway, let's finish up this attack really quick. So, um, yeah, she would have had some hogs left if she had put the heal. So, it was still a good attack, a three star, and worked out for our clan. We barely won this, this war. We won it by um, a s last second. So, yep. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. A lot of fun doing this. Like, subscribe. See y'all later.